I can't believe that I actually need to be making this video. And a lot of you are going to be thinking that this video is a lot easier to make after Man City's 2-1 victory over Luton Town on Sunday. But the fact that I even have to make this video is just absurd at this point. A large, large group of football fans genuinely thought that Man City were out of the title race. Are we talking about the same Man City here? The Man City with one of the greatest managers of all time in Pep Guardiola. Erling Haaland, who had the best first Premier League season of all time. You got Kevin De Bruyne, who yes, is injured for now, but when fit is a game changer you have Rodri are we talking about the same Man City here honestly I don't know if the football world is just so fickle or if people genuinely think that Man City are out of the title race purely because Arsenal Liverpool and Villa at the time had more points than City so in today's video we're going to be discussing why that is not the case why Man City are still in the title race and are still favorites to win the title so what's up everyone this is back of the nature I hope you're all doing well please be sure to like the video subscribe if you haven't already and let's get into it now you would think over this last decade it's become quite clear that Man City are going to be the favorites for the Premier League title every season. You would think that's how people would perceive Man City. Being the super team, being the juggernaut in the Premier League, the one constant the Premier League has is Man City. Liverpool have made title charges and fallen away, then as of right now made more title charges and guess what? Man City have always been there. But after four winless games in the Premier League, three of them being draws, people thought Man City were done and out. After only being six points behind league leaders Arsenal, the season is still young. How how that was ever a sentiment I don't know and listen I'm an Arsenal fan I would love Man City to not win the Premier League especially what they did to us last season but how people could sit there and think Man City aren't in the title race are absolutely mental I mean think about it you are talking about a team that has the likes of Pep Guardiola, Erling Haaland, Rodri, De Bruyne, Edison need I go on this team is stacked it's so good and now they're bringing through good young players like Rico Lewis honestly people think they're not in the title race I think in May be a bit of hopium i think people are just praying and hoping that city aren't gonna be in the title race because they are so sick of seeing man city win the premier league and i don't blame you i am so sick of seeing man city win the premier league myself but to sit there and genuinely believe that this team has no shots at the title is ludicrous are you forgetting about last season when Arsenal were damn near 10 points clear? Now I know this is an Arsenal fan. They were 10 points clear with like, I think it was two months to go in the season. Man City, they went on a 16-17 game undefeated streak and won the Premier League, won the Champions League, won the FA Cup. Honestly, people thinking Man City are out of the title race, you need to get checked. First of all, I think we can all agree Pep Guardiola is one of the greatest managers of all time. So much experience with Barcelona, Bayern Munich and Man City. And for people to simply rule out Man City because of a four game winless run in the Premier League is ludicrous and you want to look at the games you want to look at the four game winless run it had some really difficult games in those four games despite this before those four games they beat Bournemouth 6-1 then they draw 4-4 away at Chelsea they draw 1-1 at home with Liverpool who have been absolutely superb this season they draw 3-3 at home to yes Tottenham who a lot of people are saying are thin shouldn't have been drawn with City so I get that it was probably a slip up game from City but Tottenham are still a good team Edge is a good manager and then they lost 1-0 away to Aston Villa in Villa Park who now after recently beating Arsenal 1-0 in Villa Park are on a 15 game winning streak at Villa Park so people need to put it into context to say City were out of the title race simply because of three draws against top six teams and then a narrow 1-0 loss against Aston Villa in Villa Park yes I know that Villa game could have easily been a 4-0 5-0 thrashing for City I think Aston Villa had 22 shots to Man City's two but come on man it is Man City we are talking about and now I'm sure on paper this Man City win against Luton Town on Sunday the 2-1 victory where they had to come back from 1-0 down it isn't great I get it but there was no Haaland they're away in Kenilworth Road which if you know is a really tough place to play Liverpool got a draw there Arsenal narrowly escaped with a victory Spurs narrowly escaped with a victory and now so do City narrowly escape with a victory they top of their Champions League group and come comfortably won it I don't understand where this doubt creeps in for Man City I mean people are saying that because of Man City's defensive record in the league that they have no shot at winning the Premier League because quote unquote it's not the same Man City team Man City are one of if not the best team in Europe and people genuinely thought 
after a four game winless run that this team isn't going to go out and win the Premier League. Now I'm not sitting here saying Man City are locked on favourites to win the Premier League and that Liverpool or Arsenal or whoever else hasn't got a shot because that's not what football is about and that's not true. But I would say I am 98% confident that despite some dodgy results, some dodgy performances, some injuries, I'm 98% confident that Man City are still going to win the Premier League. And as much as I think Liverpool has turned it around, I already made a video on that on this channel so go check that out. As much as I think Liverpool has turned it around, as much as I think Arsenal are a really good team despite their most recent loss 1-0 to Villa, I think it's quite clear that Man City are still the favourites. Man City are still the best team in England and honestly it's Man City's league title to lose. I can't believe that I've sat here defending Man City like I'm a Man City fan whereas in actuality I'm an Arsenal fan that would much rather be hating on Man City rather than sitting here defending them. But we just have to be honest sometimes in football and Man City are the locked on favorites to win the Premier League, probably the locked on favorites to win the Champions League and a four game winless run shouldn't change anyone's mind on that. But yeah guys, that's the video, just a quick one, just to talk about the fact that people genuinely think that Man City are not in the title race anymore. I was working on a video about Aston Villa's rise, but as you can imagine, I just had to talk about this topic and had to clear up the air. Honestly, I just can't believe this is a video that I had to make. Let me know in the comments below what do you guys think about Man City and where do you think they will finish this season? Let me know in the comments below. Please be sure to like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.